What's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video and in this one we're going to be discussing the range of the all-wheel drive Model 3 that according to Elon Musk yesterday on Twitter said that it will be coming in or around the month of July. So it got me thinking how much range increase will this be from the current available option for long range and standard range batteries for the Model 3. So I decided to pull out my trusty spreadsheet on my computer, take a look at historical data on range increases from rear wheel drive to all wheel drive in the Model S to hopefully give us an indication as to what type of increase in range we'll see with the Model 3. So let's dive in. All right, so here's a breakdown of Model S battery sizes over the course of production and the impact on range that dual motor or all-wheel drive has had on that range. So you can see here, and let me just kind of preface this by saying that I'm not factoring in things like the front bumper fascia refresh from nose cone to what it looks like today, uh, as well as any weight adjustments or anything like that. Just purely looking at the difference between the rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions of each battery pack. All right, so let's take a look here. So we've got the 60 kilowatt hour pack, and it gave us around 210 miles of range. When Tesla introduced the 60D, there was an additional eight miles of range added to the EPA estimation at 218. In parentheses, you can see here the kilometer equivalent Moving on to the 70, you've got 235, sorry, 230 miles of range, and with the dual motor, it gave an, an additional 10 miles of range, 240. 75 and 75D, 249 and 259. And then 85 and 85D, the smallest increase, interestingly, from 265 to 272. And you can see the respective percent of change increases. It about averages to three 0.57 or 3.6 percent. If we were to apply that change to the Model 3 rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions, what would we get? With the standard, which is estimated to be about 50 kilowatt, a 50 kilowatt hour pack, currently, when that is available later this year, hopefully, it'll be 220 miles of range. Now, if there was an all-wheel drive version of the same battery pack, you'd get about 228 miles of range. And for the long range, we've got about a 75 kilowatt hour pack in the Model 3, which gives about 310 miles of range. And if all wheel drive were to be added to that, you'd get about 321 miles of range. And this is actually a little bit less than what I was thinking in my head before I started running the math on the differences, but still interesting. Now, a lot of people, when I did my Model 3 review uh, about a month or two ago, mentioned in the comments that 310 miles is really not the true range of the Model 3, that when Tesla submitted their numbers to the EPA for EPA range, that it was actually 334 miles, but Tesla asked the EPA to adjust it. My guess, my theory is to, so as to make sure that there is a large enough contrast between Tesla's Model S 100D at about 335 miles of range and the Model 3 now advertised at 310 miles of range. If we were to add that same three and a half or 3.6% difference in rear wheel drive and all wheel drive to this non-adjusted or pre-adjusted range, we'd see a 346 miles of estimated range on that pre-adjusted number. So there we have it, about a 3.5% increase in range from rear wheel drive to all wheel drive on the standard battery it's 220 miles increased to 228 and in the long range 
It's 310 miles increased to 321 miles. What are your thoughts on this? Does this change the timing of when you might get a Model 3, knowing that the all-wheel drive will give about a 3.5% increase in range? Put it in the comments down below. As for me, I'm extremely excited that we're going to see a little bit more range in the Model 3 all-wheel drive version. Plus, being here in Colorado, I'm extremely excited about the additional traction control that I'll receive with the all-wheel drive when it snows. That's it for this video. If you are in the market for a new S or X, please use my referral link down below. If you're not in the market, you can still use that referral link to enter in to win a test drive of the Tesla semi-truck. All you have to do is sign up for Tesla's email list and you can do that. And when you click on that referral link, it'll pop up with a window to subscribe to their email list. If you have any questions about Tesla, feel free and add them in the comments as well. And see you on the next video.